up y'all welcome to or welcome back to my channel it feels so good to be freaking recording y'all today i'm coming with a vlog i am my sister actually i um, wanted to take the kids to the park today and um they wanted me to bring my baby but my baby is not um, finished with his week at his dad's and he did not want to leave early so he's not coming but the other kids, um, we're all gonna go to the park and I'm gonna go by the grocery store today. I think I'm gonna do another recipe from Jaws Cookbook because on my last vlog, y'all were, well, it was one person really, but they did ask for another um, another Jaws Nice recipe. So, baby, I'm gonna whip some up. I'm, gonna, I'm actually taking the book with me because I'm gonna choose something at my sister house um, because I don't have time to look through it right now and they just call me, where you at? So I'm about to head out now and y'all gonna come with me for today, okay? All right, let's get the moving. Okay, y'all, so I put my phone on the charger and it's still only at about 15%, but I'm still gonna go ahead and go to um, to work out. I'm just gonna listen to my music on my, um, on my Apple Watch. And yeah, so I decided to, I decided to wear my um, JNL waist trainer. So I have this on and usually, let me tell y'all something, hold on. So usually when I go to do any type of um, working out or anything, walking, running, jogging, going to the gym, whatever, I, I like to sweat and I like to see my sweat and I like to feel my sweat. And not saying that this JNL um, waist trainer doesn't make me sweat because it does, but not as much as I would like. And usually I opt for my Keisha K. Or, um waist eraser belt. That thing, oh my God, like, girl, what did you use to make these? Because I sweat like immediately, start sweating, and then it's like from start to finish. I'm just gonna try to do like a little quick power walk, 30 to 45 minutes, and I decided to go ahead and um, put this JNL waist eraser on because today I really don't even care about sweating, and I'm really kind of tired because I had a late night last night, and I kind of don't even want to go, but it's good to get like some type of, um, you know, some type of exercise in. So, and it feels really good outside. So, I'm going to take advantage of that. And then, once I'm done with that, I'm going to go to the, um, I'm going to go to the store. <music> Jaws cookbook and also the roasted russet, russet um, potatoes. 
So if you are new to my channel or if you haven't seen my last vlog, I purchased the Kitchen Envy Cookbook and I honestly think I'm a chef. I think I'm a chef, y'all. So this is the recipe that I'm following right now, which is super, super easy, y'all. This honestly didn't even need to be a book. <laughs> but um, this one is super easy. It's the roasted, rusted potatoes. So it consisted of, and I'm gonna insert like a little side video so y'all can see how it looks, but basically you take your potato, cut it up, and season it with um, Mrs. Dash seasoning, garlic salt, Italian seasoning, and add olive oil and then stick it in the oven and let it cook. Um, cover it with aluminum foil and let it cook for about 30 to 35 minutes or until the potatoes are soft. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven and then I'm gonna go ahead and start on my stuffed salmon. Oh, I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry. Okay, y'all, so this is the recipe that I'm following for the stuffed salmon. I've and already made my filler, uh, which consists of spinach, cream cheese, garlic paste, um, garlic salt, and uh, parsley. And also, here are my salmon fillets now. Um, so I've just seasoned them with a little of uh, Mrs. Dash. And what I'm about to do now is slit the um, sides of the salmon and I'm about to stuff some of the filler into it. So and I'm gonna make a side of squash while this is cooking in the oven. And my potatoes should be ready at about 9.15. Right now it's 9.02. So yeah, I'm gonna show y'all how it looks before I put it in the oven. to do squash and zucchini and all I did was added some of this um, olive oil to the pan and I put it, my squash and zucchini in here and I'm going to add just some salt and pepper over it mix it all and just let it cook down and then it'll be one of my sides um, to go with my potatoes and my all right y'all okay so these are the potatoes I don't know if y'all can tell um because it looks like when I cut the camera on that, let me see. When I cut the camera on, they still look a little light, but they are brown and my squash and zucchini is almost done. I pulled the um, aluminum foil from the top. Keandra, turn the camera around. I pulled the aluminum foil from off the top of the salmon and I'm letting it broil for a few minutes and then I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna fix me a plate. I'm hungry. Y'all, for real, my appetite has been kind of funny. I haven't had a full meal since yesterday at like three o'clock. Me and my mom and my sisters went to Bomb Howers and I ate there and haven't eaten a full meal since. Today at my sister's house, I had a fruit cup, a fruit cup and that's it. So this is my, like my first time having like a full meal I don't know, my appetite has been so funny. But I'ma let y'all know how it tastes. Of course, results pending. I'll be back. Okay y'all, so this is how everything is looking. My salmon, potatoes, and squash, and zucchini. I'm about to tear this up. I'm about to tear this food up. I've already tasted the filler that goes in the salmon and that shit is good fussing. The potatoes are really good, and I already know how my squash and zucchini is gonna taste. The salmon, um, I eat salmon anyway, so. But yeah, I'm about to go and eat. Thanks y'all so much for basically spending the day with me. And I really hope y'all enjoy this vlog. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, drop me some comments, and let me know what you think. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.